Hi, I'm Peter Church from FB Chain, and we're going to demonstrate how to use our professional chain wear gauge. There are plenty of worn, not worn gauges on the market, but ours is a how much worn gauge, showing wear in quarter percent increments. It's very accurate and allows you to track chain wear at each chain inspection or equipment service. We developed the gauge after years of working with Leaf Chain, fitted to all types of lifting equipment, and have designed the gauge to be robust and easy to use. The first thing you need to do is check the jaws aren't damaged and the gauge slides freely. Now that the slide is closed, check the calibration window reads OK. If the calibration is out, it won't give an accurate result. The gauge is made to be robust and it's available in two options, steel or acrylic. Next, you need to check the pitch of the chain. You do this by lining up the arrows on the pin sensors on one of the outer link plates. There are three sets of arrows to make it easy, whatever the position of the chain. The pitch and the number of pins you need to measure over should appear in the top window. If nothing appears, you need to turn the gauge over. The A scale on one side measures pitches from 3 8 to 3 inch, and the B scale on the other side measures inch and 3 quarter and 2 inch pitches. Now it's time to measure the chain. Put the jaws on the first pin and count down the number of pins instructed to in the box, extending the slider as you go. This should be done in the section that runs over the pulley, as this is the part of the chain that experiences the most wear. The chain should be placed under a small load, often the weight of the forks and the carriage is enough. The percentage wear will appear in the window at the bottom with no need for calculation. If the wear is greater than 2%, you should plan to replace the chain. At 3% wear, the chain is dangerous and should be taken out of service immediately. To be sure, we recommend that you carry out the measuring process in more than one place. Now wipe the chain gauge and put it back in its case and keep it safe from damage. We're dealing with tiny measurements here, so that's why our chain gauge is much easier and more reliable to use. Using the FB gauge limits visual errors and errors in calculation that you often get with steel tape, rules and old style gauges. So you won't be needing them anymore.